Nathan, God, you lay in my bed laughing at my 19-year-old Sunday school award, earned on my one and only day of participation, my award, in fact, for participation. And it's so easy to laugh at awards that everyone wins because they don't make us feel like snowflakes or astronauts or anything special at all. They don't remind us of genius or the twirl of fingerprints we swear we memorized off our lover's touch. And it's an honest craving to be special. It's certainly kept crown makers and TMZ in business. But the price you pay for every ornament replacing the words for who you are, the words that people are too often too lazy to think of is this that on some hopeless nights or endless shuttered days, you don't have the words to say how lonely you are. The loneliness that your loved ones try and fail to understand, except failure implies the possibility of success, and really, it feels hopeless. Like, what it is to be you is what it is to be a bat, and feel echolocation, and since we can't see sounds, we can't make out the walls of the prison you're in, we have to take you at your word that it's dark inscrutable, yours. This poem has one job, it's to tell you it's horseshit, that you weren't born sick, that you can't be forced well, and that there's nothing you've felt that hasn't lived in one of the hundred billion brains born before you. And the reason I know that's true is because otherwise poems wouldn't work, and battle would fall, and we'd all spend our time on mountaintops, hoping for our taste of revelation. We've got to stop building monuments just for us to be alone with God, because that ends up meaning alone. And yes, I know. Monuments to humanity are often ugly and televised, like box store traffic jams or injection molded plastic trophies. But if TV has one job, it's to warm us like the fires we don't light anymore. And if plastic has one job, it's to remind us that we've tamed dinosaurs. And if this poet has one job, it's to tell your story, because at their best, poems are memories, and we give them voice so they can live a thousand lives in other people. You and I can build cathedrals and pin above their altar every award we've ever won for participation. But if a spotlight ever happens to shine in yours, you've got to remember what it's built on. Because every silent story is an unanswered prayer. And if spotlights have one job, it's to remind the world you're there. And you fell asleep about halfway through that rant, so I quieted down and lay still. We slept face to face, breathing in the heat of each other's breath, all awkward limbs and lost pillows and traffic sounds. The night was messy and makeshift and honest and ours. We weren't special, just lucky. But at least we weren't apart. <laughs>